All right. Welcome to Hack Your Content. Hey, in this episode of Hack Your Content, what I wanted to do was talk to you about how to leverage chat GPT to create um, better content for your blogs. So if you haven't used chat GPT yet, it's available at OpenAI. Uh, you'll have to create an account to use it. Um, but once you've done that, you'll get access to this interface. And this is where you will have your conversation with ChatGPT. So typically you want to uh, enter uh, question, you want to enter questions for ChatGPT because it's a conversational um, model engine. So anything that you enter here, you'll want to um, enter as a type of question. So when you're writing a blog post and you're using chat GPT for content, I'm going to um, start off by getting a blog post introduction. So just so you don't have to watch me type, I've got some questions set up ahead of time. So in this case, uh, I'll be asking lots of questions about barbecuing. And apparently I must be hungry today because I picked this topic. So let's take a look here. So one way to get ChatGPT to work for you effectively is it can write your blog post introduction. You just simply ask it, write a blog post introduction for the blog post entitled Tips for Barbecuing Beef Brisket. So let's see what it comes up with. So the process will take a little bit of time. Uh, it just depends on how many people are using the service at the time you're using the service. Now, of course, with any content that you, cre you create through chat, chat GPT, you do want to be careful of fact checking it. Although I have found that the content coming out of chat GPT is extremely reliable. So this is a great introduction. Barbecuing beef brisket can be a delicious and satisfying experience. As I read through this, it looks like it would work incredibly well for an introduction to a blog post on this topic. Now, of course, you may want to rewrite sections of it or edit it to give it a more personal feel um, for your writing style. Um, but it looks like it would work just, just great. So that's a nice test of chat GPT for a blog post introduction. So what about, well, before I get to the blog post conclusion question, how about write a paragraph talking about, write a paragraph talking about smoked brisket and use the keyword Traeger pellet grill. So if you have some specific keywords that you're trying to intersperse within your blog post, you can ask it to use keywords in its response. So let me grab that and copy it, paste it into ChatGPT, and we'll see what it decides to come up with here. And the key thing is, will it add the keyword that I asked it to add? And not only did it do that, uh, it, it wrote a nice section that you could use Traeger pellet grill once, Traeger grill, another form of the keyword, and then Traeger pellet grill a third time. And as I read through this, it's not overusing the keyword. So from a keyword stuffing standpoint, I think you'd be okay using this content. So let's try something different. What about if you needed some kind of content that was in a numbered list? Well, we can give this a shot and see if we can get ChatGPT to create our numbered list for us. So I'll drop that in. What are the top five reasons to use oak when smoking meat right as a numbered list? 
So I've specifically asked ChatGPT to do this. And off it goes with a numbered list. I don't know how long it will be. It should match just five. It's usually been pretty good about doing that. Now, I'm not an expert in smoking and barbecuing meat, but from my high-level understanding, this is pretty darn good content and matches up with a lot of what I've read on the web about how to smoke meat. So what if I wanted a bulleted list? You can say, using a bulleted list, tell me why barbecue is so popular in Texas. That's a good question. You're asking ChatGPT to build a bulleted list for you. We'll find out if it will answer that correctly. And again, right off the bat, it builds out a bulleted list. Now again, it's up to you to vet the content and decide whether it's something that's usable for your blog post. Um, but so far, everything that I'm seeing looks pretty darn good. Let's keep going. So here's an interesting one. Write a first-person anecdote, anecdote about tasting barbecue brisket for the first time. So the one thing that you'll notice about ChatGPT is the content in it does sound a little textbook-like. So maybe you want to personalize your blog post a little bit and you want to share what would be a first-person anecdote about your topic. So let's see what kind of story we get. I'll never forget the first time I tasted brisket. I've always been a fan of grilled and smoked meats, but I'd never tasted brisket before. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to read the whole thing. The meat was so tender, tender and flavorful. Couldn't stop raving about it the rest of the trip. So you can see that it will write a story in the first person about your topic that you could use in a blog post to just add a more personal touch uh, to a post. So what about a compound question? What if we're asking ChatGPT to do two different types of responses within one question? So, why is it important to use the best custom cut of meat you can afford for barbecue? And I want it to write two paragraphs and a bulleted list. So I'm specifically asking it to do two different things at once. And the response time, very fast. There's one paragraph, and it's writing the second paragraph, and it follows with a bulleted list. So I think that's very cool that you're able to just ask, GP, ask chat GPT to not only give you blog post content, but create it in a way that you can use in your blog and mix, mix and match different types of styles bulleted lists, numbered lists, paragraphs, first-person um, anecdotes. So what about a conclusion for a blog post that's entitled Tips for Barbecuing Beef Brisket? Can it do that? So write a blog post conclusion for... Write a blog post conclusion for the blog post entitled Tips for Barbecuing Beef Brisket. Let's dump that in and see what happens. And it takes right off. And it looks like it's writing quite a nicely written, short, concise conclusion. This is only going to get better. I mean, right now, um, we're talking about a tool that people are utilizing um, in sort of a 
pre-production context. They're, they're going to take all the feedback they're getting on this tool and the next version is just even going to be more incredible. So you can quickly see how you can write a blog post using and, and get ChatGPT to give you the kind of content that you need uh, for the audience that you're targeting. So if you found this uh, to be a helpful uh, video, please like and subscribe. So again, for Hack Your Content, uh, I hope you enjoyed this and we'll... See you in the next video.